These soccer balls are getting ready to make a long journey. All thanks to the founder of Kickballs for Kids, Chris Thompson. In 2010, after hitting a serious life rut, Chris took a trip to Africa with a friend on a whim. A few weeks later, his life would change. It started as a, uh, I miss my niece and nephew's birthdays in Canada, so I asked them if I could buy them their presents in Africa and give them to kids in Africa and tell them that the gifts were from their friends in Canada. So I bought a single soccer ball and gave it to a group of kids on the side of the road, and it was a life-changing experience to see how something so simple that we take so for granted here in Canada could have such a huge impact. After that one generous act and a series of emails back home, the ball started rolling. Kickballs for Kids was born. Over the next five months of his trip, Chris ended up raising $11,000. Every penny went into soccer balls, which I would deliver to schools and orphanages and uh, children playing in some of the roughest slums in the world. Trade a brand new soccer ball for uh, a pop bottle, which is what the kids were playing with as a ball before. When supporters of the project would request other equipment, Chris obliged, but the main purchase was soccer balls. A single soccer ball can go a long way. It doesn't just get used by one child. Uh, you have to play with friends, 11 to a side, so one soccer ball can reach 22 kids. And if it's put into a school, then it can reach hundreds. We get to choose the role we play. I think that's so awesome. Since returning home in 2010, Chris continues to send soccer balls to Africa and takes the time to visit schools right here in Manitoba. So what's a passion of yours? I love speaking with students because students are still young enough and crazy enough to think that we can make a difference in the world and they're right. It's when we become adults we start to think that we can't. In the half hour presentation he explains how his travels and fundraising efforts led him to some great experiences. VIP passes to World Cup, meeting the Mandelas, and his favorite part, getting to know all the amazing adults and children along the way. This young Rwandan boy carrying a woman's dress and shoes sticks in Chris's mind. The boy's mother had died and carrying the clothing was a way to always remember her. I couldn't dream of a child in more need of some happiness, so I asked him to wait for me. I ran back to my hostel for a ball, and when I gave it to him, he smiled for the first time that I'd seen. Kickballs for Kids has branched out to help other areas of need. Through the Kickballs for Kids Brother Sister School program, fundraising efforts have helped build schools in Cameroon, provide scholarships for students in Zimbabwe, and even build a new sports court in Sudan. So what do you think about what Chris did? Um, I think that he should keep doing that and he should be proud. What did it make you want to do with your life? To give to, give to the people that have less than me. And that kindness is exactly what Chris hopes to inspire. So there's a lot of little splinter projects where these students are starting their own uh, fundraising efforts. And whether it's to go to, towards kickballs for kids or to something they're passionate about, that's perfect to me. So in Canada we have so many things, it should be easy to help people with nothing. For more information on kickballs for kids, check out their Facebook page. For Shaw TV's Go, I'm Blair Malstrouch.